Alrighty, welcome to Intergalactic Fishing. This is Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. We're going to do some more fishing. So last night we got, got so much into our uh, Age of Vamp not Age of Vampires, Kenshi game, that we went, we forgot about our Intergalactic Fishing and went straight to 1 o'clock. We did f almost four hours of uh, Kenshi last night. I think we did four, yeah, almost four hours. So tonight we did not forget. So, in the last episode, we got our new boat, a new speed boat, but we have not tried it out yet, so let's check it out here. It's the Riviera M, we'll just leave it the same name there, and Max Speed 9, I think the other one was like 4 or 4, I think it was, 4 or 5. Four rod slots, looks like 10, 10 lure spots, which is awesome, we can create some more lures. Four modules, which I think was the same, and... We get live oil, which is, I think, was the same too. Plus the three, the four that we added on for our expansion there too. For a total of 12 live cells. So let's, uh, ready? Let's try this out. Let's actually, uh, do we have a new lake to go to? The depths, yeah. Let's go to the depths here and try it out. So let's, there we go. And can I catch a new fish there? Oh, well, that's freaky. It's like a God's eye thing. Okay, ready? Let's see how fast we are. Oops. <laughs> I guess we'll try after. Maybe we're really fast that we get rid of the people around us. Okay, ready? Set. Oh, yeah, that's nice and fast. Woo-wee! We are flying. Well, let's, since we're already at the deep spot here. Let's cast. Ooh, let's go talk to this guy first. Pike Pet. They seem to refer to our jewelers. Okay. Right, so. Pike Pet. I don't see Pike Pet. That was interesting. I didn't seem to see the one that he said there was there. Proper teal. Let's see if those are in here. Yeah, those are here. I didn't see the pike pet, though. Is that a fish that... Hmm. Is that a, is that a bug or a secret fish, maybe, that's in here? Could be. That's interesting. I've never had that happen before, where... They gave me a clue, and that fish is, doesn't seem to be in the lake. Alright, let's uh bring it to light. So let's get the lake data here so as soon as this is done. Maybe a twelve hour night. Yep, yeah, an eleven hour night. Night eighteen hour day. Alright, so let's switch to our. I don't know what lure we're even using. No books, of course. Let's use the tidy bowl. Not quite the deepest part, but close enough. Pretty deep though. It's taking a while to get down there. I'm sure I'm going to catch momentarily. Sinking lower step might take a while, a lot longer to reel in, it seems, because they're so far down. So much line is out. Dollar gun. Dissect it. Deep water. That's definitely true. Okay. Checking our chat. No, nope, still nobody in the chat. Nobody in the chat to see us fish. 
I think eventually we'll have people. If we keep streaming every time at the same time, every night, well, not every night, three to four days a week, we should eventually start getting some people in. It's going to be consistent. Man, I don't see myself getting bored of this game anytime soon. There's just so much, so much to do in it, so much to discover. I mean, hundreds of lakes. And those are just the ones I think there's more you can discover too all the time. Let's see what we got here. Seems like a similar type fish that we just kind of maybe. Another Delagon, which is fine. Oops. Oh, yeah, so we did get some information. 50. It's right in the middle of dark and bright. Ooh, we got two things there. It's a dull lure. Yeah, this lure is pretty, pretty accurate to the. Whoa, let's get some rain there. Pretty accurate to this fish type. It usually is. Well, that's really cool. The way the rain comes in there. And, uh, creates an illusion there. Very relaxing. Kind of like Star Wars with us going through the space at hyperspeed. And the Millennium Falcon. Last piece of that on it. There we go. So we don't know the full grown size. I think we're missing. And Dolga, that's a decent sized one. Mm, let's just let's keep that one. That's that's a nice chunk of change there, so see if we can get a little smaller one to dissect. Because we don't need much on this bar. Oh, that was a lake record too, yeah. This fish. Be nice if we can get lake records on all the fish, that would be cool. That would take a little while to do that, especially the lakes that have like seven fish in them. Maybe that guy did give us uh, information on the, it was a dull again. Maybe I just misread it.
You can search for even better rod too. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. That's probably another dull gun. Smaller size. Should give us the rest of the bar there. Oh, it did. It was already filled. Yeah, as soon as we caught it. it... Okay. So we didn't really need to do that. We could have dissected it. I mean, we could have just let it go. But... They're just digital fish. They're not real fish. Pick a pet. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think there are any pick a pets in here. Yeah, there are any pick a pets. So, I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe it's a secret fish. Alright, so let's we'll try this deep lore on this weed stuff over here. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Here and switch our lure back to the middle bricks. Can't quite make it where we wanted to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there. Trooper, trooper tail. Something better than that. Try a little, try our other surface lure. Maybe it's just not attractive to it enough. Okay, so which one? Let's 
this one. Okay, try a generic one. Maybe. Oh, it doesn't seem to be. This one, I thought it wasn't there. Something is there. This is probably a different type of fish. It already feels different, anyway. Ligazurch. Quiet and loud, and likes the dark lore, which is what this is. Yeah, so maybe the change of lore made the difference there. Yeah. So that's cool too. You have to have the right lure and the, for the for the right fish sometimes, almost the time. Never had much success at lure fishing when I did try it. Mostly did worm fishing and stuff, but didn't do much lure fishing. Oh, Falling for our productions. It's an okay, Instagram thing. We play a lot of flying frog games. Um, mostly, press your, not really press your luck, but. Dice, dice chucking, dungeon crawling, heavy theme goodness, shadows of brimstone, touch of evil, fortune and glory, conquest of the planet Earth, and just one other big one. I can't think of the name of it offhand, but all good games. Like, if you're into uh, Indiana Jones movies, then you'll really like uh, Fortune and Glory. But I think we might start watch the Indiana Jones movies again. We haven't watched those in a long time. It doesn't like the weeds. Let's try it outside the weeds here. Probably helped. Yep, the laser gauge. Yeah, I don't think the fish in here are that big overall. Although the ones we haven't caught are they look, they look like they might be a little bigger. This kind of looks like a kibber. The lizard urch there. Right, right away that time. I like the surface lures as far as oh there you go. No month. They're faster to get the fish in too. because uh, you know they don't go as deep. Let's see, let's see what that no month is. Oh really like the really quiet one. Near surface, yeah, that's definitely near surface. Yeah, probably another one of those. Pick a pet. Oh, 
that's the one that is on the list. Interesting. Or is it? Oh. There it is. Ah, it just wasn't on the... Let's, uh... There we go. That's why we had the single column mode on. <laughs> there we go. That explains it. Yes, I didn't think that we had ever caught a fish that wasn't in the lake. But yeah, I can't wait to we go to another lake that we haven't discovered yet, so we don't know what the species of fish are. We can find out ourselves. That always makes it exciting, I think. Come on, baby. What do we got here? This is rich. Dissect. There we go. That's all we need. No, almost all we need. Still don't know if it's small or large yet. Just a tiny bit left to discover. So one more of that type of fish ought to do it. But yeah, I'd rather get my dad on the fish by catching them and dissecting him. Once in a while, talking to somebody, I guess, is okay. But I like to get most of my data through experience. Catching them. Some fishes, some lakes you catch just about every time you cast out in some, some spots if you get a good spot. Other spots, not so much. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I get to talk to somebody, though. If you're not catching anything, you got to talk to somebody to get at least a little bit of data on the fish so you can kind of gauge, at least get some information on the fish so you can tell why a lure might not be working. This one looks like a decent size. I haven't had a line snap in a while. Ooh, that's decent size, yeah. That might be a record. There's a get. Yeah, that might be a lake. Yeah, it is a lake record. Good. Excellent. So we get two fish lake record out of five. Excellent. 31 credits. We're not going to dissect that one. We're going to sell that one. We need to build up our cash again. As you can see, we only have 7 credits after we spent everything on our new boat. But it's definitely well worth it, though. It'll pay dividends how much we can zip around the lake and how much we can hold and lures we can craft and the poles we can hold and all that stuff. So I'm not sure why you would need a once you get a pole with all max stats, why you would ever go back to a one that has less? I don't know. Maybe some poles are end up being better. Or different weapons are better in RPGs in certain situations. So maybe that's the case here. We shall see. No, we didn't pick a pet. All right. Yeah, it's definitely not a good lure for a pick a pet. <laughs> it's way off. Other than the fact that we're stationary, I don't see any other reason why it's 
we're getting any. Just see which would be better for the pickup hat. The middle books are probably better for the pickup hat. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if we can catch the pickup hat with the middle books. Bet you that. That's what we're going to catch with it. That should be much closer. To, yeah, it is. That's a much better lure for that. Overall. At least better than the one we just had. Let's see. Definitely, we don't have optimal winding speed on this. This fish. Lizard zerch. Lizard zerch. Yeah, we need a little slower winding speed. But that one we can keep. 17 isn't bad. Do we know the. Uh, Winding speed for the stationary, so I'm not sure we are good winding speed for that other fish there. Yeah, so eventually we're going to start doing tournaments too. Maybe I. Uh, maybe we'll try one tomorrow night. Just to try something different. I think we have to buy another, uh, another terminal, not terminal, um, module. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Allow us to play against other players from all over the world. Potentially. Well, probably. I imagine this game probably is really popular in overseas countries since it is an indie game, but I could be wrong on that. Indie doesn't necessarily mean it was developed in India or anything like that. It just means it's that style of game, I guess. Looked away for a minute and I can't believe we get thirsty again. Those chili dogs make that we had earlier make us thirsty. I'll try one more over here and then we'll move over to a different spot. We've been at this spot quite a while. See we can't see anything over there. Let's just, just let's try one of the weeds here, I guess. With the metal books. Nope. 
Step around and turn to the part of the lake. Wow. Yeah, this is super fast. This little cove in here. Oh, I was close to hitting the shore. Little fighter here. Oops, as you get shh. Just let you go. Since we haven't caught any of the fish that we want to catch, we might have to start asking people about what kind of fish they caught and see if anyone... So eventually someone will have some information about the fish that we want. Give us an idea how to locate it or what lure to use. So right now we're just still kind of guessing at it. We're using the middle board skits, kind of the middle of the road lure middle and everything kind of let's see what we got here pick a pet nice we got all the information on that now hey we got the maximum maybe we shouldn't have dissected that one but that's okay we just got the lake record so we got lake record on three of the five fish the other two, we really haven't. Well, we only caught one normal. That one seems to be. Let's switch our lure to the lower. The lower end of the lure here. Like this one. You will catch more of those other ones. We caught this one along the shore too. It's the only one we caught in the other area was the uh, Dulligans. Yeah, those are the deep water ones, the Dulligans. Everything else has been fairly shallow. Yeah, this is probably one of those. No, it wasn't. We should be getting on the mission. Yes, we do. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Decent size, we'll keep that one. Right, let's go to this uh, green area here and see what we can catch. Which is what we thought we would cut through this lure. Okay, dissect it. Not much other information. Near the surface, so we're using the right kind of lure. Is 
Is it stationary helix? We don't know. We don't know the winding speed on this yet. Yeah, definitely doesn't it doesn't feel random at all too. It definitely feels like certain lures are better at certain fish and you know, the deep and shallow things and all that stuff. All the data seems to be spot on. When you find the right stuff, it just clicks. So yeah, so it's very well very well programmed, it seems. <laughs> Why the lizards are seems to be the fish that are worth the most. I think that they have the average, the best average size. I don't know. Actually, the pick a pet 22 average size. Of course, we only caught a few of those, we dissected a fairly big one, so it's probably a smaller sample size. But yeah, we don't know put the fish that we we want for the contract either. darker lure. A small large one isn't doesn't make much sense, but not everything is gonna match up. Gonna be close to the end of the day here in this lake. This planet. Hey, excuse me. Hey, oh, man. Oh, feeding activity. Oh, that has to do with the time of the day. Interesting. You learn something new. So depending on what time of day it is, uh, that's what that bar is down below. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, that's a huge, is that the biggest in the world? I think it is. Nope, 12.78 is the biggest one. Well, that was the record. Let's see if we get more information. We should get the rest of the information, I would think, now. Yep. Yeah, not too bad. Really close to dull and shiny, where our lure is a little bit duller than it likes, but pretty close. Yeah, so that's what that thing is. So, the feeding activity is the time of the day, I think. Interesting. I'm not sure exactly how to read that. All right, so we're going to have to ask some people because, whoa.
Yeah. Fine. Let's get some more. See if we can find somebody else who's a little bit more talkable. Try the yellow area next. Okay. We've got all the data we need on everything except for the fish that we need. We'll just try a lure that we haven't tried yet, maybe. yellow area here. Start of there. Try a different lore. We don't need any more of those guys. Those guys aren't worth much. Tidy bull. Try a sinking lure. We need to make one more type of sinking lure. That's a high end one. And that's a. At top water, we have the low and middle one. I, that's a high. I mean, it means to make a low end sinking one. That's what we'll do next time. In fact, we could probably do that right after this cast. Let's see if we don't catch, if we don't get the fish we want here. Dark sides, okay. 
Yeah. Most of the ones, sinking ones here are now on, on the bright side. So let's go on the dark side. So let's go with like, I don't know, like a brown maybe. I wonder if that's good right there. Yeah, you want a little bit on the quiet. Let's, let's at least put one more piece on there. So, is that a piece right here, dark gray? Nope. Uh, maybe? Purple. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's try that one. It's kind of a low end one there. And then we're going to make it sink. That's good, I think, yeah. There we go. Good. Uh, dark cider. Oh, that's a dark cider. Dark cider bottom lore. Try that. See how that works. Let's just try that. I'm not sure how much the other ones are. 1.5. This is 1.2. Just take a little bit longer to sink that. There you go. And this is just kind of a guess. We don't even know. I just needed something different. Different spectrum. I was thinking more that's all on the low side of those stats. So the one that's uh, dull, quiet, small, dark. This may or may not be a good lure for this lake, but it might be good for other lakes, so. Even if it isn't good for this one. Alright, let's try another part of the lake here. Let's go a little deeper into that orange area there. Alright, let's to the red, between the orange and the red there.
It appear to be a good lure. Unless it's let's go let's go on near the shore. It might be good near the shore. Be able to catch at least something with this lure, maybe. Mm. May have to modify the lure to add some. Add some in one of the stats here. Maybe uh, we put a little bit more on the size there or the quietness. Who knows? We can play around with it, modify it. Right there. Nope. Because of the shallow, though, it may not be so much the sinking or the top water as it is the. Uh, Stats. Maybe the most important thing. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> yeah, it tends to like the low side of stuff, except for the shit looks more shiny. Cast into the cold over here. Let's try to get some uh, try to get some more info here from people. Let's see if we can find some other boaters around here. Other fishermen. Can we ping somewhere? Over here. That's probably the one the lady that we already talked to though. Yeah, this lure doesn't seem to be. This doesn't seem to be what we need. Let's go 
back to the middle brooks. There we go. So a bit definitely maybe a, this is the fish we want. This is probably a pretty good size. Yep, there it is. Is that a record too? No. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can get our final piece of some data on this too. Catch a couple more. data on that near surface yeah so we get a little bit of data even if we don't dissect it but we get obviously a lot more if we dissect it especially when this size Doesn't feel like this feels like that weak fish. No, it is. Okay, cool. Let's get some information on it. Okay, on the dull side, which is pretty close to this lure. from I think Might be one of those again. Yeah, it definitely feels like it. Yeah, this one definitely feels like one of those. It's a big one for a drum, that's a lake record though. 
We'll keep it though. We'll keep it to sell. <laughs> Definitely anything over 20 we'll keep. Or close to 20. Fifteen's about the minimum we'll keep. Yeah. <sighs> to sell anyway. Not many, uh, not many other people fishing in this lake. There's somebody else over there. There it is. I should give some good data here. Okay, yeah, definitely on the larger side, which is good for this lure. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's quiet now. We haven't seen that Gary guy. I think I think we did come back after we told them not to come back. <laughs> Although maybe not. Maybe he's not coming back anymore. That's too bad. That's okay. He was kind of repetitive after a while. Gambling Gary. Although maybe he's not coming back because we don't have enough money. <laughs> we don't have enough money to gamble. That could be it too. I think you probably have to have at least 50 to gamble, so that could be it. Also. Because I thought he did come back. Uh, even after we accidentally might have told him not to come back. Let's get towards night time here. Where's the rain? Yeah, this one definitely feels like that. Contract fish, ooh, baby. big for that fish, so we'll keep that. <laughs> Not the largest, but on the larger side. He's larger than the mean value we had. At average rate 4.24. And you've caught 9.24 was the highest one we caught, I think. 9.6, maybe. We might have dissected the other big one too, we can't, because it wasn't worth a heck of a lot. <laughs> the size per pound. Which one we got to go? Uh, less than halfway, so a little more than halfway, so that's not bad. A couple more fish, decent sized fish of that kind we should get, right? I'm starting to get tired here. It doesn't feel like that with a fish. There it is. That's a small one. 
see that through here. Nope, really a little bit of some information, but not quite. Almost up to that next bar information. A little too small to make that much of a difference. Tug held. Maybe it likes it when you put a little play on it. Ooh, she's a fighter. Yep. Just give us the rest of what we need here. Did your surface and put some four that are low on the winding speed? Wow, looks like real loud there. Cool, well, that's all the data we needed. So let's uh, let's go turn in our contract here. Oops. Seventy credits. Fish market. So it's all. Get thirty-three credits. New contract. A tripo. Let's go for it. Doppler Lake. One hundred sixty credits. Cool. So let's see if there's a simply equipment shop briefly for a second. So, allows communication with the tournament network in order to view and join tournaments. So, can we fit any more modules on here? Let's see if we, if we want to buy it. Can we do that? Yeah, we'll put it in our home storage and we will equip it next time and maybe try and join tournaments so that'll be fun i think all right well thank you for joining me it's been eric from higher ground gaming with some more intergalactic fishing try out our new speed boat there that was pretty fun and uh, basically get all the get uh all the data on this lake well, all the fish I'd like to get our exploration data somewhere. I'm not sure exactly how you do that, but I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, we got all the information and all the fish in this lake, so that was pretty cool. So take care, God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow night in the next video of Intergalactic Fishing. Bye bye now. Oops.